Okay, my name is Matthew Randall, and in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to do some cleanup uh, in Shogun Post. Um, so, uh, in order to move around Shogun Post, um, so I've just opened up a file in here. You'll start with the file like this, and you can obviously move the file with the timeline. And we can move around Shogun Post just by using the right mouse button, or sorry, left mouse button to rotate, right mouse button to zoom, and then you use press by pressing most both mouse buttons you can track around your scene so that's how we navigate around our scene um, in, in Shogun Post okay so let's have a quick review of the file so I'm just going to play this okay excellent so what we've got here is we've got some real problems just at this point as he turns round his foot really does move around a lot um, I can see if I can zoom in and show you this so let's move around here okay yeah so you can see we've got some real problems here so um, what you want to do is you want to set up your interface in order to be able to do um, to do some editing on the markers so typically I will have uh, I will I've I've just got the panels here and I can see all the panels in this tab here and typically I'll have the market editing panel open so that's this one here um, and that's going to allow me to do my market editing I want to have my processing panel open here because as I edit my markers I want to resolve um, uh, to apply that the new the newly edited markers back to my um, skeleton so if we think about what we're doing here what I'm doing is I'm trying to clean up the position of the markers in our scene so I'll just show you that here okay and then as I clean them up I do a solve so that it's resolving these bones from the cleaned up markers okay so I clean up markers here do a solve here and then in order to be able to kind of get a better view of where uh, my issues are I really want to see the graph view as well so I tend to use a two up uh, this view here where I've got a view on the top and the bottom uh, click on here and I will on the bottom one I'll switch the bottom one to a graph view okay great uh, and typically I will use uh, I'll set my graph view up to be uh, uh, to be a zoom medium or medium close but the main thing is I'll just go uh, yeah uh, and I'll set up my view that's right sorry this download here uh, so I usually and I usually set this up to be a collapsed view so if you haven't got that I usually set it up to be a collapsed view uh, that just brings all the uh, different translations closer together so I can see them a bit more clearly okay so with that in mind let's actually select one of the joints so i'm going to look at let's look at this ha uh, um, foot first okay uh, so i'm going to go through here and i'm going to just move the timeline through uh, to where we've got a problem and see what we can see okay um, sorry i might just keep pressing the uh, alt tab by accident because i'm kind of used to the maya interface rather than this interface but bear with me okay so you can see where we've got that er error here you can see that in this graph here okay excellent and what we can do as well is we can kind of get in here and we can kind of zoom in real close so we can kind of see that in a lot more detail if we want to okay and we've got some more errors at this point here you can see there's some more issues coming in at this point here Okay, so let's just focus on, I think we should just focus on this range here for the moment. Uh, what, I, what we can do is we can do a couple of things. So I'm just going to switch to my medium zoom, just so I can kind of see things a little bit uh, more clearly. Okay, that's brilliant. Okay, uh, and I can kind of just move my view here. Excellent. So I'm sort of going to focus on this sort of dirty bit of data here. Now, I, I, what I can do is I can just press Alt and just select all the keys in that area and clean them up okay um, and what I want to do is I want to I, I'm interested in this tab here the filter tab okay and all this does is it basically picks up errors and uh, filters them out okay uh, and I want to be reasonably aggressive with this so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to um, uh, and you can see the values in here I think these are the default values if they're not change them to these values um, um, uh, what this is doing is is uh, yeah um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click apply to do a filter now what you'll see is this is quite a light filter and what I'll do is actually apply it multiple times because this is quite a severe problem so you wouldn't normally have to press it multiple times but here I'm going to have to press it multiple times to really try and clean this up so I get I really get in there and clean that up okay excellent and I want to really just smooth out that so I've pressed that quite a few times in order to kind of smooth that out okay then what we can do is I'm going to just sorry I'm going to go and zoom in and select the next sort of target that we want as well uh, now what we've got is actually we kind of we, we're getting errors in a similar place so again I could draw and select them again or what I could do is actually in fact actually I've got this filter set up not to filter the keys but to filter the range so actually once I've got this range defined I can actually just go through all my joints and filter them in this range so I'll just go apply and just filter it down so all the tracking markers that are linked to this particular foot. And I'm just going to go through in a logical order. Let's go apply. Okay. You can see we've got additional problems here as well that we might want to look at. Uh, but for the moment, I'm just going to go and focus on this. There we go. Apply. select our heel there okay yeah I think I've gone through all the markers there uh, I might want to just go through the front marker I don't know if I got that one no I didn't okay there we go so there should be five markers on the foot if you uh, if you recall from the uh, if you've done any capture you'll recall that from the session okay so um, now what we want to do is uh, let's just have a quick look what that looks like so you can see how this foot is really moving around quite a lot here okay so let's click solve solving and that's going to resolve that joint based on how we clean that up okay and let's have a look at that now so now that we've done that you can see that whole bit of motion there has cleaned itself up okay and basically it's that process that you want to repeat um, for, for, uh, whenever you see any issues like that uh, just select the tracker, filter it to smooth it out, and repeat that process in order to clean up your data. Okay, I hope you found that useful.